Thanks for clicking on this video about the Night Kit Phono Oscillator. This is November 2016 and I decided to do a video on this item because I don't know if I'm going to get the urge to sell it and I thought before I sold it I would want to create a video for it because this it's very hard to get information on this Night Kit item number 83Y760. This item was only made for about three years, two or three years, and then it was, you might say, Night Kit produced another three tuber which overlapped with this one, and that's the three tuber that pretty much took over for another seven years or so, a total of ten for this three tube broadcaster. Information about this is easily to get easy to get. The, this one on the other hand, the one we're going to talk about today, is very limited information I've been able to locate on this item. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about how this thing operates, a little information I know about it. Um, this particular item was offered by Night Kit for in 1957, 1958, and possibly 56. The three tuber that I just referred to was manufactured for about 10 years, and these two overlapped for at least a couple years. The three tuber naturally is more of a modern unit, and that one there is in tons of information available. This one, on the other hand, is rather scarce, and I think my guess is this item was manufactured, uh, intention was first, naturally, it's got the larger tubes in it and limited in what it can do. This was just a phono oscillator, but the three tuber right here, that one was a night kit wireless broadcast kit which you could employ as it shows a microphone and some other input, possibly a phonograph. So typically this is what we're going to look at today here and uh, I've got it on right now and although it's limited in its function right now because it's late at night where the the skip is terrible and the uh, and the broadcasters have reduced their power for that reason. I'm going to kind of show you where how this thing is set up. First of all, this item is uh, 110 volts plugged in. It can run on 110 to 20 volts AC or DC. Right now, I am feeding an output from an FM station from this older AM FM radio through this wire coupled to a RCA phono jack and plug here and then on the back of this we have a fan stock clip which is shown there and that's where the antenna wire is crimped in there right now temporarily and on the front of the unit hold this up here so you can get a nice frontal shot of this no model number is mentioned on here. This tube is, as you might hear in the background, the gain drops. And now it's up higher. And this is for tuning the frequency that it's transmitting on. And listen to the background here. So you can see that has an impact on the reception which is fixed. And you can hear a little bit in there. That's what I'm transmitting on this radio, feeding in and then coming off. The antenna is just a piece of wire that I have up here and I have it up near the radio. I don't know what best practices are for this because I don't have a manual. There is one location on the web that has information on this, but uh, I didn't purchase that, so I don't really know what best practices are for antenna, size, length, etc. But you, just to show you here again, I've got a screwdriver in that trimmer, condenser, and you can see it. I'm moving in and out of the frequency you can hear that. I'll put this up. Okay. 
it, it definitely works, and it works much better when the, the stations haven't cut their power and skip is uh, causing issues with reception. So we'll just turn that off now. Uh, the tubes that are used in this item are 50L6GT and a 35Z is in Zebra 5GT. Uh, I'm going to unplug this unit now. And uh, as you can see, the filaments are going to lose their glow here because power has been cut off. And I'm going to unplug the input and I'm going to turn it around here and pull the wire out of the fan stock clip. So now we've disabled all the power and connections here. And I can possibly show you a little bit better what this is. Here's the front of it. This one's in not too bad a condition. Uh, this this model, the, the sides are open. Uh, the AM broadcaster, that's much more popular where they made so many more of. This was available in an open, as you can see in this one, open side like the basically the one we have here now we're demonstrating. Later on, they changed this. There's at least two variations of this where this tube was moved over and these two RCA jacks are put next to each other here. And then there were sides on both sides. So it's totally enclosed with the bottom on it. This is the earlier version of this and an earlier offering. So let's move to the back of this unit so we can get a good look at that. Okay, there's the fan stock clip and the AC power coming out of the back. You just push down. You push down on that and then slide the wire in and then it locks and this is the bottom of it all the looks like pretty original parts in here and you can see there's the on the bottom there that's the frequency control it's just a trimmer capacitor looks like and then there's a resist a pot on the top potentiometer for the modulation and that's what this knob is for here modulation okay and as you can see here these are old old caps as to keep this I'd probably do some recapping on this and just verify all the resistance on the resistors but and you can see some little corrosion here where it might have sat on a basement floor or something that had a moisture on it and that's the bottom view of it so uh, let's see if I missed anything here I, I, the intention was to inform the public on this. I don't think there's any YouTubes on this at the time I'm posting this. And uh, if anybody, and just to let you know, this is much rarer uh, in collectability. If you like to collect these vintage early night kit uh, uh, night kits offered by Allied Radio, uh, this one is made and highly collectible. Uh, many, many made. This one, the one we're talking about today, very rare. So from a rare standpoint. Now, this would be more challenging to find, but it would be cool to complete your collection with this one. So, pretty much all I could tell you on this, and I hope you enjoyed viewing this and learned a little bit about this night kit, also known as a 760. And uh, have a great day, and hope you enjoyed it.